This is a healing meditation with the goddess Isis, many Egyptian divinities, the angels, and the Isis Lotus healing energy that you have been attuned to during the previous meditation or a course that you may have attended. Call upon the goddess Isis and visualize her in front of you now. She appears as the most beautiful, beautiful goddess. Frequently she has a blue dress on, big white wings and looks rather like an angel. She often has a little throne upon her crown or a solar disk. And you're aware of many other divinities gathering around you. Always when you're doing healing, it's good to invoke Archangel Michael as a protection energy. And we ask for him now to shine his bright white light down upon us. And we call upon Anubis, the jackal-headed god, the great protector god, often seen as the god of the dead, but he protects those who are alive and dead. And it's always good to invoke him when you're meditating and working with Egyptian energies. We call upon Nephitim, spirit of the sacred blue lotus, to be with us. Nephitim looks rather like a magic genie. He's quite an amazing being. Said to be the son of Ptah, the architect of the universe, and the son of Sekhmet, the fiery lion-headed goddess, is a very powerful healing god in himself. He works with four little gnome spirits, they are called, of the earth, fire, water and air energies. In ancient Egypt, the blue lotus was very highly revered. While he is the god of all the lotuses, there are white lotuses also in Egypt, or there were blue and white lotuses. He also is seen as the god of those who make perfume and work with essential oils. Once he is with you, he directs you to see yourself lying in the most beautiful, huge, blue lotus flower. Just imagine you are lying somewhere, very safe, very comfortable, in a huge, beautiful blue lotus. Then you are aware of Toth. Some people call him Toad. He's the god of magic and healing, also known as Tehuti, Hermes the thrice born. And he looks rather like a bird man, with the body of a man and the head of a bird, an ibis bird. Osiris is with us, the husband of Isis. Beautiful green energy. Bast, the cat goddess, the beautiful Bast, or Bastet, her Egyptian name is. Bastet is such a beautiful cat goddess. She comes to bring you joy and laughter in your life. Sekhmet, the overseer of the Isis Lotus system of healing, is with us. She's a very powerful healing goddess, appears as a lioness often. There is also Nephesis, sister of Isis, Athor, Mart, the goddess of balance and harmony and truth, Nuit, the sky goddess, Geb, the god of the earth. The moment you invoke these ancient Egyptian divinities, they are there. 
Nuit arches her starry body above you now. She usually is shown as the most beautiful blue energy with lots of little stars. She is arched above the tombs and the temples in Egypt. Geb, the god of the earth, is a green being and is arched underneath you. This ensures you're connected with heaven and you're connected with earth. Now I'll get you to visualize yourself in the most beautiful violet pyramid. The base is on the floor and the pyramid is right above you. Even if you're only visualizing yourself in the pyramid, the energy is there. The healing energy and protection is there of the Great Pyramid or any other pyramid. And now, imagine that you're actually in the Great Pyramid in Egypt. You are in the Queen's Chamber. And it is ancient of days. There are many beautiful lights dancing around you. And you realize these are actually divinities, the ones we know as Egyptian gods and goddesses. You look around and you see walls of white with blue hieroglyphs there. And you realize the Great Pyramid exists on many levels. You are seeing a form of the pyramid that most people don't ever see. It is there on an energy level. And there is a healing ceremony going on. And the healing is for you. Your physical body, your soul, your emotional body is being healed. It is a chamber of rebirth into higher consciousness. You are receiving this healing today and you will be reborn tomorrow. You lay in the chamber. Many priestesses gather around you. And they're directing healing at you. And many, many gods and goddesses come into the room now. The white light beings from Sirius come into the room. These are the big white light beings. The cleansing and clearing white light beings. They walk through you and around you. Cleansing and clearing your whole physical body, your aura and the environment that you are in. You may feel them as a cold breeze. You usually feel the temperature drops when they come into the room. Now you're aware of the goddess Isis hovering above you. And then she comes and she stands behind you. As she stands behind you, you feel a flow of energy into your back, into your spine, down your arms, out of your hands. Then you're aware of a beautiful blue energy in front of you. This beautiful blue energy starts to flow towards your heart and your head. It's the Isis healing blue energy. Allow it to flow into your body. You might like now to sit up and place your hands upon your feet and allow some healing energy to flow from your hands into your feet. As you do this, it helps to cleanse and clear the energies around your feet, 
open your feet chakras and clear energies from the lower part of your body, your energy field around you. As they clear, your whole aura opens up and healing is far more effective. Just allow your hands to rest over your feet. You'll be aware of Nephitim looking like a magic genie in front of you. As you place your hands upon your feet, he plants two beautiful blue lotuses over your feet chakras. Then slide your hands up so that over your knees. Feel the energy from your hands flowing into your knees that support you so well. Bast the Cat Goddess and Sekhmet come around you now. And they're doing healing upon you, directing energy with silent sound harmonics, pulses of light and colour. Now you may lie down again, place your hands upon the base chakra. As you do, visualize the most beautiful blue lotus being placed over the base chakra, which traditionally is seen as red. As the blue lotus is placed there, this chakra becomes a violet color, opens and expands. You'll be aware of the presence of Nephitim. You'll be aware of the presence of Isis and Osiris. You may also be aware of some cat-like creatures in the room in etheric form. These are beings known as the cat people. There once was a planet where all the inhabitants look like giant cats. It's connected with Sirius. And these beings were very highly evolved. Now they exist only in spirit form. They have no physical home. They love to come and assist with the Isis healing energy, the Syrian energy healing. Around your head, the crystal people gather they look like normal people, made out of crystal, they are transparent, a very highly evolved race from another dimension, a Syrian planet, part of Sirius B, they come, they are working upon your head and your heart and your neck, they do some type of etheric uh, neurosurgery. Sliding your hands up so that over the sacral chakra. Beautiful, beautiful violet lotus expands out from the sacral chakra, which traditionally is seen as orange. Slide your hands up so that over the solar plexus chakra. Over the solar plexus, as you place your hands, opens and expands the most beautiful blue gold lotus. Nephitim has placed this lotus there. As this lotus expands outwards, 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 much dark and discordant energy stored within the physical body is released. Isis and many beings of light are above you directing energies into the solar plexus and into your physical body. Now place your hands upon your heart. Nephitim puts the most incredibly beautiful blue lotus there and your heart chakra which is traditionally 
rose pink and green opens and expands becomes violet green and pink and blue as your heart opens you relax you know you are loved and cared for by the angels goddesses and divinities at all times great healing is occurring on many levels for you now you are well of four little spirits with you they hover above the lotus as they hover above the lotus we ask Horus we ask Nephitim to balance us energetically please our earth fire water air energies and this will happen and you may feel a shift within you your throat chakra now has an incredibly beautiful blue lotus there it opens and expands you're aware of Nui, the goddess of the sky sending energy into your throat now This is the wisdom energy of Nuit, mother of Isis. It will help you to speak the words of the Egyptian divinities, the goddess Isis and Nuit. Between your eyebrows, sixth chakra, there is the most incredible blue, indigo blue lotus expanding the stem goes right into the pineal gland the pineal gland is right in the center of your head and Isis is above directing a stream of white energy through the blue lotus to open up your sixth chakra and flow energy into the pineal gland to help it clear, cleanse and expand. This helps your psychic vision and psychic abilities. Love your crown now. Method and plants a huge beautiful blue lotus merges with the white and violet lotus already there in experienced meditators and the stem flows right down the energy stem flows right down the spine and links up all the chakras all the lotuses and then runs down from the base chakra into the ground Place your hands back on the solar plexus and be aware of all the divinities around you. We ask for all the white light beings from Sirius to cleanse and clear our energy field till it is perfectly clear, white and bright. We ask the crystal people to work upon our heads and their, our minds to open us up to greater spiritual truths and realities of other realms and dimension Metatron, the angel Metatron is flowing incredible orange gold light into your mind at this time Toth, the god of wisdom and healing is putting gold light through you to work upon your DNA, to reconnect your DNA This process will take time, but it has been started now. Ask the cat goddess, seems to be dancing around you, placing her paws on various areas of pain and discomfort. And sometimes you can really, really feel her presence very strongly. 
Sigmid and the cat people are also there. The processes just occur, you don't have to know exactly how they do. Then we'll go briefly through various processes which you need to do from night to night to keep the energies flowing and to maintain the healing energies that you've been initiated into. So we ask Isis to each night flow healing energy into us. We ask her and Tote to continue with the reconnection of the 12 strand DNA process. We ask Isis to balance all meridians within the physical body and to balance all chakras and all layers of the energy field around the body. We ask Archangel Michael each night as we go to bed to cleanse and clear our auras of dark and discordant energies and energy cords that should not be there. To pour constant bright white light upon us and to take any lost or confused souls away from us and lead them directly into the light for their own healing and protection. We ask Osiris for soul level healing please both tonight and for the next seven nights. He works with an emerald green healing energy that heals at an amazingly deep level. And again we ask Isis to continue to flow her electric blue energy into our hearts for the next 10 nights. We ask Vast to enter our dreams tonight to assist us to have clarity as to our purpose upon this earth and to give us joy and lightness of spirit. We ask Nuit to arch her starry body above us always, to give us protection and starry energies. And we call upon the white light beings from Sirius to be with us continuously, to bathe us in their healing and cleansing and clearing energies. We ask the 12 strand DNA process to continue to completion. And we ask Toth to assist us to understand esoteric concepts, star languages, and open us up to greater realities. And now the healing process has almost completed. And we thank all the divinities for their presence and their healing energies. It's good to do this healing every evening. And indeed, you may do it every morning. At times the healing will be very strong. Others it will be not as intense. But always healing will occur. And if not then, while you sleep. And we thank all the goddesses and angels for this healing 